Hi, I'm Ming Thien. Welcome to a new video. By popular request, it seems that a lot of people um, are interested in, in how I make my black and white images. So this video is the Monochrome Masterclass. Uh, it recognizes that good black and whites are both a product of getting it right in camera, being able to pre-visualize, and also post-processing. So we're going to be looking at um, those three stages um, during the video. Everything from how do you visualize a scene in black and white to um, how do you imagine what a scene could be in black and white. There's a little bit of difference there and I'll, I'll touch more on that later. Uh, to what do you need to get right in camera to have the right ingredients to post-process it the correct way in order to get the result you want. And on top of that, what are all the different um, styles of black and white you could have? What are all the, uh, the different looks, the, t the different tonalities? Um, how can you deal with subjects which are separated perhaps by color but not by luminance? All of that and a lot more detail coming up soon. So now the image has gone flatter again. Um, you'll see that a very low contrast image is probably not the best thing for uh, this kind of interview setup. So we switch back to the red filter because I think it makes for a better black and white. Um, you can see clearly there's more tonal separation between the different elements of the frame, between me, my shirt, the things on the table. You'll notice now this video is very high key, the background's blown out, um, I'm quite bright. As you notice the light has changed yet again. Uh, I have a single very directional source. Okay, so for our final scenario, um, or our final style rather, I'm going to show you what I think of balanced black and whites. Really strong colors here. Uh, actually, either could work. And I want to darken my sky a little. I will have enhanced separation. But at the same time, I'm not losing my contrast in the clouds. Okay? If I want to enhance the separation in the car more, I do. I'm going to dodge the clouds. So it looks like a shadow area, but there are highlights in here. But again, we, remain, we retain that perceptual zone separation between adjacent areas. And that is the finished product. Okay, we started with um, something very flat, and we have greatly enhanced contrast, but at the same time, it's not too aggressive. 